welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Domingo. Special K. And Fuzzy. Tonight we're doing a uh, pop pop. Oh, this is a blend. Ugh. It says blend. Uh. How are you going to have a blended vodka? Ugh. So this is pop pop blended specialty spirit. Vodka specialty spirit. Uh, it it's is... probably called vodka specialty spirit because it's not actually. It's not actually vodka. Proof. Yeah. Well, for the price, like, <sighs> you can get Nikolai, which isn't. Blended. You can yeah. get boxes of Nikolai, just in case y'all didn't know. It's like 3.5 liters of Nikolai for like 20 bucks. Oh god. What, are you trying to kill me? Is that what's going on right now? You love your vodka, right? I do, but... So, the only other vodka blend that I've had was... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have an off putty flavor, but it's just straight icy propyl. Like... <laughs> the only other blend I had was Dark Eyes, like really. Oh no. Yeah, don't, don't remind me of Dark Eyes. Don't really find I thought I blacked out after that. I oh. wouldn't remember, but... Uh, it's got a... It's isopropyl and roofing tar, man. I don't get the roofing tar. I don't get the roofing tar either. There's a sweetness to it, though. Yeah. That's my glass. Which is weird. Is it just my glass? rim? Oh yeah. I have a metal rim on my glass. I don't know. It smells off on mine. It's very burny. Yeah, I can tell this. Is oh, it has mittens. Yes. <laughs> it's it's burninating. It's burninating it's, it's, my nostrils. It's bur burninating yeah. the countryside. This is burninating my nostrils and it's gonna burninate uh, my throat. Pop going down pop pop. Yeah, it's like probably. seven to like nine bucks most places. If you're gonna get vodka in that price range, just get vodka. Look, nobody's buying. A fifth of Popov. You're buying a pint to put in your breast pocket so you can like go back to your box that you live in. Sure. <laughs> like, well, then you get a box. You are, you are actually kill moves. <laughs> well, if you're going in a box, you might as well just get Nikola. It's already in a box, too. You can use it to build your shelter. <laughs> <out of the laughs> it could be an addition. You can, you can, yeah, you can add patches. Nikola vodka, uh, official vodka of the homeless. All right, so well, it's time to taste it. Our, uh, our blended vodka to. stuff. I mean, considering how cheap it is, it's actually, like, pretty neutral. I mean, it's hot, but... Better than, uh, better than Dark better Eyes. Better than Dark Eyes. It has a weird, pungent bite at the front. Yeah, it, 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 it like hits Like, almost chemically. Yeah. A little bit, a but, like, it hits you, it hits you hard up front, but it doesn't actually burn that much going down. Mm. And again, there's a sweetness there that's really unexpected. It's just like, you can really just feel it evaporating off your mouth. Yeah, kind of. Like, huh. That, and it leaves a very weird uh, aftertaste. It's very, almost like a... Very weird uh, a hint feeling. Of beach ball. A hint of beach ball. It's like if you're blowing ball. up the yeah, beach ball. Yeah, you know ball. the smell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hint of that up front. Hold on. Yeah. Let me think about this and taste this. Just, just a hint. Just, just like you licked it a little bit. Mmm. Elementary school. It's not the burniest vodka. Yeah, but like the, I don't feel the burn. Yeah, currently. Yeah, but like the flavor. Like I just uh, I haven't taken another sip, but the flavor is still like stuck on the roof of my mouth. Oh no! Oh no! Upon further inspection, it's super bitter at the end. It is. It's oh my bit. god! I feel like I just uh, uh, no no no. Give me more. There's no more. I'm sorry. Can you please, sir? May I have some more? Here you go, you get your half and half there. Yeah. I have some Oliver Twist in my life. All right, so uh, straight, it's not all awful. the carbonation is gone. It's not <laughs> awful, it's not awful straight, but it's like not great. I wouldn't want to do shots of it, I'll um, tell you that. Yeah, no, I could put it no, in some no. hooch though. Just pay the extra two bucks in New Amsterdam, get special. Yeah, up, yeah, like, definitely. So, uh, it's, it is, it does feel the weird gap question. of the you're seven, eight dollar. There's not really many vodkas of that seven, other than Burnett's, and then Burnett's is awful. Yeah, Burnett's is like seven, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you prefer Svetka or New Amsterdam? Uh, it's a hard one. It depends on my mood. I think I like the Svetka flavors better than New Amsterdam. Mm. Correct. I like New Amsterdam's regular yeah. flavor and New Amsterdam 100 proof. Yeah. Also, they have gin, so. Yeah. New Amsterdam's gin is actually pretty good. Um, so, we'll rate this straight. I think it's <sighs> straight four and a half. I, I, was think... gonna, I was gonna go for a three. I mean, it's below average, but I mean, it is a cheaper budget vodka, so four but and a half. True, true. I would drink it, but I wouldn't be happy about okay, it. That so is straight. Yeah, you know? yeah. We okay, so maybe three, 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 maybe three and a half. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go bump. straight four on this. Um, there again with the point five spread. Like yeah, always it seems like, but I mean, it's not terrible. It's not undrinkable, but it's not a pleasure to drink. 
You know what I mean? No. So no. now we're going to do with some uh, ginger ale and lemonade combo, mix with this, see if it, it's a better mixer, which it should be. It's vodka. Hopefully. That's what it's designed to be. Yep. No more beach ball. No more beach ball? It's it is still, still a little is. bitter. Yeah, like it, it's it's good, but like I'm still I still have the feel of the, the initial drink in my mouth from before, before from before. It did take a lot of the sweetness away from the ginger ale though, which was interesting. Yeah, it, it yeah. smelled so sweet when you smelled it. It didn't really taste that sweet, but yeah. Uh, five and a half is a mixer. It's definitely better as a mixer. Uh, yeah. Again, better vodkas out there. It's not bad if, you, if this is what you have in your area. It's fine. But oh yeah, for sure. Again, uh, like literally, you can find this at like any Walgreens. So the the, the golden price range for vodka is seven, eleven dollars. Seventeen dollars. No, from eleven to seventeen dollars. Anything over seventeen, you're paying for the name and the brand. Anything below that, uh, it's made with questionable ingredients. The correct answer is Stoli or Russian Standard. Those no, are the ones you need to You're wrong, get. Finlandia. Finlandia is mm -hmm. good. Yeah, but I'm. I'm always trying to get like. Uh, once you get it, like everybody's like, "Oh, I'm Grey Goose." I'm like, anybody. I, I want anybody. Okay. Hold look up. up the story behind Grey Goose, and you'll never drink it again. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I will say the cherry Grey Goose is really good for no reason. Look up the story. Right. Look up the story behind Grey Goose, and you will never drink it again. It's a complete f fucking scam. What, like, did, he, did he fuck a goose or something? No, it's a, it's just a scam. Like, a the, whole, the whole product is a scam. The whole marketing, all of it's a scam. Oh, it's I, been a scam I, since day one. Oh, I, I actually um, don't doubt that, to be yeah. honest. Also, uh, up until 2002, there wasn't a vodka over $15. Oh. Uh, because vodka doesn't cost that much to make. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you don't have to age it. Because it's know? potatoes. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, not anymore. Traditionally potatoes. Well, yeah. Think about it like usually uh, or winter wheats or rye or. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah. So vodka. It's Ciroc's a, made with grapes, I think. I don't know. Ciroc tastes like gin, so. It does. It does. Yeah. Which but, is why I kind of like it. But so you got yeah. Much. So you got five and a half as a mixture. I'm gonna go with probably the same five and a half. It's pretty solid, but it's nothing spectacular. Yeah, it does what it needs to do. Exactly. Yeah, I'm going with a five, like. Like I said, I wouldn't drink this straight. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could like make myself. But yeah. um, no, you could like pour this in some like Hawaiian punch or something. Maybe some Mountain Dew. Yeah, it beats uh, your it beats it, your tacos and yeah. oh, Nicolas, but like it's not gonna beat uh, a Svetka or yeah, you know, right. It's I it's where it's, it needs to be on the price range. I yes. will say it's perfectly priced. It, I think it's, it's, de it's definitely a jungle juice vodka. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean, I feel like this won't give me a terrible hangover. Like, never drink pineapple burnets, y'all. It is the worst thing <laughs> in the whole world. Burnets is gonna give you a bad hangover anyway. Didn't you have a bad yeah, choice? Yeah. For what was it? Watermelon burnets? Uh, oh. No, it was, it was watermelon uh, Smirnoff and raspberry burnets. Yeah, which is, oh, God. raspberry which is burnets also is terrible. Awful. Yeah, I drank two it fifths. Like, yeah, it tastes like uh, two, cough syrup. Two fifths in an hour and a half. Why? Good times. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm guessing Actually, you, really I'm, I'm times, guessing you didn't know any better at the time. No, I knew better. I just blacked out for three days afterwards. Fair enough. And on that yeah. note... <laughs> yeah. Eight, with age comes wisdom, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And with that note, I'm Fuzzy. I'm Special, Domingo. Special K. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.